Okay, today we're going to see how to capture the TCP three-way handshake. So the first thing we're going to do is open up Wireshark, find the active network connection, and start to capture. All right, so the window will start to fill with traffic. And now what we want to do is we want to open a web browser. So I'm simply going to open the web browser here and allow the page to open. And in this case, I've picked a particularly lightweight website and we'll talk about that in a minute which will just open so the website i've gone to is m.met.ie okay so that's opened the website brought up the web page and that's all i want to capture to see the three-way handshake so i'm going to close the web browser and stop the capture because that's all i need so to observe the three-way handshake we need two pieces of information we need our own ip address we need the IP address of the server itself. Our own IP address we can see in lots of traffic or use the command prompt to find it or see the IP address as we start Wireshark. So in this case, my IP address is 192.168.0.220. The next thing I want to find is my DNS request and I want to find the IP address of the met.ie server. So I'm gonna to go to the filter and type DNS and click the arrow and I'll see any DNS requests that have been made since my browser started and since the capture start started. So in this case I've got a query for met.ie and I've got a response or an answer that met.ie is at a website that begins 82.195. Okay so that's the DNS request that's telling me the IP address of the website. So 82.195 so now I'm going to filter traffic again, and this time I'm going to say that I only want to see TCP traffic. And I only want to see TCP traffic that was on port 80. So TCP traffic on port 80 is web browsing traffic or HTTP traffic. So type in my filter, click the arrow, and it brings up the traffic. And straight away I can see that I have a piece of traffic from my IP address to 82.195, which is the met.ie, and it's the synchronization request. So synchronization, sequence equals zero, window 65535. And inside that, I can also see the port that I'm using for this conversation, 5057, and the port that I'm sending to, which is port 80 for web servers. Then I see the response from 82.195. So here's the Acknowledgement, synchronization and acknowledgement coming from the met.ie website, coming to my IP address using TCP IP. It's coming from their port 80 and it's coming back to my port 5057, which my machine used on the way out. And here it's giving the synchronization and acknowledgement. It's setting its own sequence number to zero and it's setting my acknowledgement to one. So it's upping it. And then next line is my PC finally sending back an acknowledgement to the website using TCP again from port 5057 to port 80, setting the sequence number to one and acknowledgement to one. So counting up as they go and setting a window size. And then finally, my machine sends the get request. So it asks for HTTP traffic. So this is where it's looking for the website. And then we begin to see a stream of traffic coming from the website. So here we can see traffic coming from the website, going to my IP address, using TCP, carrying HTTP traffic, and inside it are segments of traffic. Okay, so that's how we capture the TCP three-way handshake. First, by starting a capture, opening a web page, stopping the capture, doing a DNS filter to find our IP addresses, and then doing a TCP port 80 to find traffic between our web address and their web address.